Hey everyone, Red here, and welcome back to the 30 Days of Billy, and I hope you've been enjoying the 30 Days so far. Overall, I've been thinking about making some changes to the 30 Days, and I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do just yet, but if you have any ideas, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. But for today, we're going to keep it as normal and go through Days 6 and 7 with the Infinite Screaming Billy build. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have Ultimate Weapon. Whenever we open a locker, the perk will activate for 30 seconds, and Anytime a survivor enters our terror radius, they will scream, reveal their position, and then gain the blindness status effect for 30 seconds. Second, we're running Thwack. After hooking a survivor, this perk will activate, and the next breakable wall or pallet that we break will make all survivors within 32 meters scream and reveal their aura for 4 seconds. Third, we're running Eruption. After kicking a generator, it'll be highlighted yellow, and whenever a survivor enters the dying state, every afflicted generator is going to explode, lose 10% progress, and begin regressing. But if any survivors are repairing the generator when it explodes, they will scream and reveal their aura for 12 seconds. Last but not least, we have of course Infectious Fright. Any survivors that are within our terror radius when we put a survivor into the dying state will scream and reveal their location for 6 seconds. As far as add-ons, feel free to bring whatever you want, but I'm going to go with the Thompson's Mix, which will decrease our recovery time after using the chainsaw, and I'm going with Low Kickback Chains, which will decrease our recovery time whenever we hit an object, as I'm still bouncing into quite a bit of stuff as I play around with the chainsaw. This is definitely more on the meme build side, so keep that in mind if you play this build, but definitely let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Rancid Abattoir. All right, time to make survivors hopefully scream, but we'll see how that goes. All right, on Bryce, I do have a way of finding survivors with ultimate weapon. At least that is the goal. I see. Oh, no. The fact that you were able to crouch tech me there, dude. It's so dumb. You deserve to go down there. That was really dumb because I actually had like the perfect little saw there and to almost be counterplayed by pressing the crouch button feels so bad. I tried. Interesting, where'd you go? You think I just kind of like caught her off guard or something? Kind of confused. Oh, hey gamer. Do I get kicked out again? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> ah! You gotta hit that one really quick, but it's such a hard thing to attack. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Real quick. Hi. Hold that for me. Bummer. Hi. Imagine not coming and taking a hit. Uh, 
Goodbye. Real quick. They got a lot of gen pressure out there. I'm not gonna just like uh not pressure them because of that, you know what I mean? Bummer. We'll take it. Nice. One more. Dude, that extra second really killed me there. So, the, like, the new, uh... Oh. Nope, that's not it. Auto pull. That's great. I love that for myself. Oh. Thank you. Unfortunate on that one, but you know what? It works. GG's gamers. Uh, deadlock, but. Take it. Dude, oh, the overdrive is so brutal. I should have been more patient with it, though. Got him. Hold up. Surprised they went that route. Went over there, cool. There it is. I want to get someone on the hook during this. That way she has to gamble. What about Grim Embrace? Oh, uh, same thing. You split pressure on Jens, you're fine. There we go. Go ahead. Oh, she tried picking her up real quick. That was brave. We'll go ahead and put her on stage two. I don't have ultimate weapon up for a second. If they don't play well here, they lose. Yeah. Well, anytime you have infectious fright, man, it makes for a pretty brutal uh, potential. I messed up. I was hoping to catch him. GG's. Thanks. Oh. RPD, not what I want. This is definitely not a good map for the build. To be fair, the build is definitely on more on the meme side, no matter what. But this is really not good because you have the up and down really crazy here.
Dude, that's so rough. Alright. That was a nice try. Calm. And if we realize there was no one who screamed. So, that means they're probably on that gen in the far corner or that gen over there. But survivors almost always spawn in this far corner over here. So, I'm going to take the gamble that they're probably over this way. That's where I'm going to go for uh, this one specifically. Nope. So, right here means that they're up on that one, most likely. Or we'll end up going back to our... Yeah. There's two options. We happen to hit the right option. Hold up. I want to try something real quick. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Ah, I messed up. That could have been a snag for sure. So close, dude. Nice. Hi. Nice to see ya. I thought off the record, but I think maybe she worked on that gen and got rid of her off the record because she wasn't making any noise there. She does have calm too. Something to keep in mind of. We healed up here. So how much distance do we gain is the question. Hi. Ah! Oh. Dang it! <laughs> I was in the way of it, but I guess not. Howdy. Got her. Real quick, I'm gonna throw her up on the hook. We have one survivor we kind of dedicated to like slugging right now. And it's kind of building me a lot of pressure. I tried. Thankfully, it's still going to give us a nice little down here. That's not who I'm looking for, but we have a calm gamer, so she won't scream. Howdy. go howdy I tried so close yeah so far <laughs> all right let's go She made herself go stage two. I'm really not sure as to why. Uh, but the screen build man has been claiming some souls. It definitely has a lot of aspects of tunnel, which survivors don't like. But for those of you who are always like, you know, where's the P100s? There's one of them. So it's like, ah, ah. they're always the quickest ones to give up too, okay? I don't have an angle. Up and around. One. I heard breathing. I did. Do you ever start questioning yourself, by the way? Like, when you hear what you think is breathing, but you just, you're not really positive, like, where it's coming from, and then you just question yourself? I've done that. There's your Claudette. Surprising enough, we do have a perk that will see calm, uh, calm gamers, but it's just thwack. 
Ooh, I thought I was going to get a lot more turn there. Oh, well. Oh, pallet. There he is. He doesn't have dead heart anymore. He used it to get to the pallet. And there we go. Claudette. Just the survivor I'm looking for. I gotta manage to keep finding her, but yeah. Nice. Damn. It's gonna be a little harder on this one to pull off. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's all prank. I felt really good with this game with the chainsaws. Please, somewhere over here. There it is. Hi. Yeah. Take it. The GG's.